So welcome back and welcome to the full release of Amanda the Adventurer. An indie horror game that's about eight bucks and it's getting overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam. It's actually got the entire YouTube community going crazy right now. If you just search this game, everyone is playing this game and everyone's actually saying really good things about it. We played the demo maybe about over a year ago or so. It was very short and it was essentially just you playing the tapes, but apparently in the full release, which is what we're playing here, you actually get to walk uh, with your character and then you play the tapes and then discover the nightmares be behind Amanda, the adventurer. So I don't know, it seems pretty cool. And based on the reviews, I think it might be something that we can possibly enjoy together. And uh, sit back, relax, and let's do this. Alright, so what do we got here? Dear Riley, if you're reading this, it means that you won't see me again. Unless it's in the next life. I wish I could have told you everything. I don't know how much time I have, and there is still so much I have to do before I'm gone. This letter serves two purposes, to say goodbye and to bequeath to you my house in uh, Kensdale. Hmm. This next part may be a mistake, and God forgive me if it is, but when you settle in, there is something in the attic I need you to pass uh, I need to pass on to you. Look for a tape. But now, uh, but know that once you watch it, there's no turning back. Stay safe, my dear. Uh, with you always, Aunt Kate. So we're playing as Riley. Why would my Aunt Kate leave me some mysterious tapes? I guess we're about to find out. So it seems like the controls are WASD, uh, control and left click. Oh wow, man, this is this is pretty cool. When you play the the demo, as I mentioned earlier, I don't believe there was any of this. All right, so it seems like we're in the attic. I don't know. I I, I would assume the whole game takes place here, but let's start doing some uh, some searching, shall we? You should probably just go towards the tape. We have a lot of stuff going on here. Okay, we can open that. The uh, sensitivity is kind of crazy right now. Hmm, we've got a safe. Don't necessarily have a code or anything. Let me check behind, uh, behind this over here. It's funny because you can kind of tell what objects are going to be, uh, interactable. If, if you get my drift. And what objects are not. Like this, the piano, all these things that just kind of pop at you. Anyways... That's a freaky fucking doll. Oh god. We've got a tape here. Um, in the kitchen. We've got another letter, or is this the same letter? Yeah, that's the same letter we just read. Let's go ahead and grab this tape. Man, I don't like that doll behind me. Like, one bit. I, I don't like it. Mm -mm. So here we go. Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Today, we're going to make an apple pie. My favorite is peach pie. What's your favorite kind of pie? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go with apple. Mmm, that sounds delicious. Today, we're going to make an apple pie. First, we need to cut the apples. Hmm, do you know what we can use to cut the apples? Uh, a knife? I don't know, I feel bad for Wooly here. We oh. can't use that. <laughs> I misspelled it. Wow. Good job. We can use a sharp knife. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to do that by ourselves. It's always good to be brave when you're by yourself. Look. I'm a pirate! Ha <laughs> That doesn't seem safe. Okay, Willy. Let's cut the apple. That was hard. We have almost everything we need to make our pie. We just need some sugar. Hmm, do you know where we keep the sugar? Is it in the pantry, the refrigerator, or the sink? Definitely not the sink. 
Oh, Take it's up pie. there. Wow, I didn't even mm, see it. Can you smell the apples and cinnamon? Okay, it's time to bake a pie. First, preheat the oven to 425. I don't think we should be using the oven by ourselves. We should always ask a parent to help. I'm not sure where they are right now. <laughs> We're on our own, Willie. First, preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Then, put the apples into the pie tin. Now, put it in the oven and bake it for 40 minutes. Our pie is ready! I can't wait to eat it! Willie, let's have some pie! Oh, God. All right, the doll is still intact. That uh, mysteriously moved onto the table. I'm gonna grab this tape. Can I grab it? Just kind of place it here. We got some letters here. Can we read any of this? Dear Mrs. Park, I know it's been a long time since you've uh, seen me. I swear, the library was sometimes the only place I felt safe. I've always been grateful to you for that. Being someone I knew I could trust, I need that again. To trust. Two years ago, my little brother Jordan disappeared. Just, uh, poof gone. Just poof gone. My parents were never the same. And now they're gone too. They just didn't get over the grief. It broke their hearts and eventually it killed them. The police figured someone snatched Jordan off the street. That some crazy guy lured him away. A freak occurrence, you know? A regular old suburban tragedy. But I know there's something more to it and I... And I know that you know it too. I thought I was alone. Nobody believed me when I tried to bring it up, but I heard about the kind of research you do. The kind that normal people don't do. I don't know, maybe it's just a rumor, but here I am. School records. You used to watch that show, you know? Um, it was really sweet at first. I remember that you even used to uh, tell families with uh, younger kids to watch it. It was, I don't know, wholesome, I guess. And then, it just got weird. I'd find Jordan uh, standing in front of the TV like he was in a trance. And it was like uh, that little girl was talking to him. She said some really weird stuff. I know most of the people around here don't believe in that kind of work you do, but uh, not at the library. The other kind of work. Uh, or not at the library. The other kind of work. They just uh, don't want to face the truth that something really evil was here. Can we meet and talk? I don't want to write anymore here. I feel like someone is watching me. Sincerely, Joanne Cook. Okay. So, am I supposed to look for like an apple pie here maybe or something? Or maybe another tape? Uh, we've got this here. Let me go ahead and... Uh, 425 degrees. Okay. Um... I guess grab the apple. This is a toy apple, though. Okay. For 40 minutes. Ah, oh, so you watch a tape. Whoa. Okay, you watch a tape. You follow the instructions, and you get rewarded with another tape. Alright, let's see. Friends, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. What do you like best about your neighborhood? Hmm. That's great. I like that there are so many friends in my neighborhood. Today, I want to send something special to my friend. First, I need to go to the store to buy them a card. Do you know where the store is? Absolutely. Good job! Let's go to the store! Let's pick out a card! My friend helped me when I was sad. What kind of card should I send them? Okay, it's kind of crazy how this kind of just like cuts, the tape cuts in certain areas. It really adds to like the freakiness of it. So, when you're feeling sad... Great! I found the perfect card! Time for the next errand! When See friends that? do nice things, it's important to thank them. I want to get my friend a special treat. Can I have a special treat? I want to get my friend a special treat. 
Where can I buy a treat for my friend? Oh, God. The bakery. Good job. Let's go get that treat. I feel so bad for the sheep. So bad. Mmm. Everything smells so good. I want to buy my friend some... Buy my friend some cookies. Can you show me where the cookies are? This reminds me a lot of Dora the Explorer. A lot. Those look so tasty! We just have one more stop in the neighborhood! The package is ready for my friend! They live pretty far from me, so we need to mail it! Wow, it's getting late. Most of the stores are closed. We probably can't send that now. I have to send this to my friend. It's time to go to the post office. Let's send this package to my friend. Their name is... Wait, I don't remember. Can you help me? We can come back tomorrow. You don't have to send that now. No, I have to send this to my friend. Help me. Who does the package need to go to? Hmm. Uh, we'll do, uh... Uh... Uh, I don't know. I'll put Ray. I'll put myself, or... Yeah, I'll put myself. No, that's not my friend's name. Uh, wait, what's... What was the kid's name? Riley? No, but that's not four letters. Oh, it's not letting me write properly. Oh, this happened early uh, in the demo. I remember. Great work! Oh, it's now Kate. Now we can send this to my friend. I hope she likes the cookies. She did mention Kate, did she? Man, I forgot if she did. Kate, did she mention that? And Kate. Bro, I was thinking of Riley and it was Kate. Oh my. Wait a minute. So the package is going to arrive here. Oh, what the? F uh oh. What is this? All right, so I'm here on the tape again, and something that's standing out to me is C, B, F. So that might be the order for the piano back there. So C, B, F. Good job. Let's go to the star. I'm going to skip this. Great. I found the perfect car. All right. C, Good B, F. Job. Now it's a bakery. What? Cookies. Those look so tasty. All right, her name was Kate. Great work! Yes, and now we go, all right, perfect. CBF. That dog is so creepy, okay. So we've got CBF. Perfect. Oh God, oh no. Accidents is the name of this tape. Is there anything else new here? No, there's not. It gets really creepy as, as you keep getting different tapes and it gets, it, it intensifies. Oh, it's you. Whatever you do, don't- Bro. Oh no, Wooly had an accident. An accident is when something bad happens, but it's not anybody's fault. Accidents can happen in your house, at school, at the playground. You can get hurt almost everywhere. At 3.45 this afternoon, we were playing and Wooly tripped and fell. I, I didn't trip. Where on Wooly does it look like he got hurt? Oh my god. That's right! Wooly hurt his knee. Who can help when you are hurting? The doctor? Let's take Wooly <laughs> to the hospital. 
hospital to see a doctor. Hmm, which room should we go into to find the right doctor to help Wooly? So I gotta remember the time that she said was 3.45. Now the time here on at, at the hospital is 4.30. Come on, let's get Wooly fixed up. Amanda, this really hurts. When is the doctor going? The doctor isn't here right now. Let's see how we can help Wooly. Which tool can we use to check Wooly's injury? The heart monitor, the x-ray machine, or the scale? Oh my god. That's right! Now we can look at Wooly's bones. That one also says 2250. So let's see what sort of puzzle we got. Hamelin. Hamelin, Hamelin, Hamelin. Okay. Oh, bro. Every time I turn around and that thing's looking back at me, man. <sighs> oh. Whoa. So every time also this changes. All right, hold on. Let me, before I forget the time. 345. All right. It, it should be okay. All right, let me read the bulletin here. Tick tock. What does this say? Oh, crap. No. All right, perfect. That actually works better. So, I can pick this up, put it right there. All right, so it says, uh, catching up with Sam. Uh, Sam uh, Colton was not expecting to be a father to a town icon, but last summer it became clear that his uh, public access series, Amanda the Adventurer, so this is the creator of what we're playing, and, uh, and its title character were something very special for this self-professed uh, struggling writer. It all started when he uh, when he adopted a uh, when his adopted daughter. Oh wow! And a new outlook on life. Recently, I caught up with Sam over a stack of the Sunflower Diner's famous strawberry banana pa uh, pancake. We chatted about the value of imagination, everyday adventures, and what the future may have in store for Amanda. So, Lacey, I'm assuming, is the reporter. Sam, uh, not a day goes by when my kiddos aren't talking about Amanda and her adventures. Did you even dream that this uh, little show would be a big hit? Sam says, little show is right, isn't it? But I think there's something uh, elegant in the simplicity. We may not have the, uh, the budget for a big production, but I truly believe that there is a soul that transcends that I am humbled by the way the uh, town has embraced my baby. I really am. Lacey says, so much uh, of the show is about following your imagination. What inspired you to produce a show that is focused on getting our kids? Can I turn this around? No, I cannot. I'm going to leave this here just in case. I grab this. All right, I'm gonna put this on the table. And it was 345, correct? 345. So trippy. 345. Yep, there it is. Okay. It was 620. I had it backwards. I don't know why I had the, the, the hands backwards. Oh, man. I'm sorry. It was 620. So what we're going to do, we're going to put this here. And let's see if this one starts spinning. Hmm, it does not. Alright, maybe this one's gotta be the other time, 2250, right? Alright, let me try... Let's see if we can in interact with this clock here. Whatever the heck this is. 
Alright, this was the one that was similar to the the one on the tape that said 2250. Excuse me, sorry about that. Uh, so minutes. 50. Uh, oh wow. 22. I gotta do it. Okay. But it was PM. I see. Uh huh. Hello? Okay, they stopped. So, of all the clocks, and I'll say the same time, which is 5 15, the only one that's not saying that time is this clock. So. I probably ought to go and put that here. 515. Safe 826. Safe 826. Not this one. All right, what's up with that freaking? That's creepy as shit. Safe eight two six. The safe should be here, maybe. Oh god. Safe eight two six. All right, let's play the tape first. Everything rots. Oh boy. Hi, Ken. I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. It's such a nice day for a picnic. What's your favorite food to eat at a picnic? Oh, I don't like that at all. Uh, Amanda, what's that smell? I've never smelled anything like that. <laughs> I don't know, Wooly. You're right! It's a bad smell! What do you think is making that bad smell? Uh... Maybe... Should I... Oh. <laughs> Hold on, I can click her? Oh, I gotta pick one of these. Um... Maybe, uh... It could be the apples, or it can be the cupcakes, or it could be this. What is that? You, you're right. This sandwich is stinky because it's rotting. This tree stump is rotting too. Do you know why? Things rot when they are not alive anymore. Do you know what the opposite of alive is? Yeah, what the? That's right. The tree stump is dead. Dead is the opposite of alive. Good job! Plants can die if they don't get enough light or water. Or if they get a disease. Let's go back to our nice picnic. Animals can die in different ways too. Look at poor Mr. Fox. He is dead and rotting. What do you think killed him? The gun, the knife, or the poisonous berries on this bush. Oh my god. Um, well, he's got his mouth out. He's bleeding. Probably the gun. Hmm, well, nobody sh- uh, I don't know, because she probably shot him. I'm gonna go with the gun. I don't think that was it. No? Okay, it's probably the berries then. No, it wasn't that. Look at his funny tongue. He's silly. What killed him? Wouldn't it be nice if he could tell us? Mr. Fox, what made you die? Hey, chill out, bro. It was the ugly old bear trap. 
Mr. Fox didn't even know what got him until it was too late. Amanda, this has gone too far. I don't like this. We saw so many things today. A riding sandwich, a riding tree stump, and silly old riding Mr. Fox. Hey, calm but down. It feels far away. Amanda, nothing is rotten here. What do you think? Do you think that everything rots? Of course not, Amanda. I'm not asking you. Answer my question. <laughs> you don't have to answer that. I feel bad for Wooly, man. Uh. No. See? Everything is fine here. It's all fine. Okay, I probably shouldn't have done that. <gasps> oh! I was not expecting. That was her. Okay, hold on. Continue. What just... Oh, I have to twist. Oh! Red, orange, blue, beige, potato... Huh? Yo. Okay, that's going to be very helpful for whatever sort of puzzle that is. So we also have this little... What is this, a button? Huh? Oh, that's the button that's missing here. Oh, hold on. Oh my god, we've got a pause button now. Hi, I'm Amanda. Okay, uh, Peach. Mmm, that sounds delicious. Today, we're going to make an apple pie. First, we need to cut the apples. Hmm, do you know what we can use to cut the apples? Sure, uh, knife. Good job! <laughs> oh yeah, that's pretty fucking creepy, but take a look here. T take a look there. I saw that in the, uh, well, the first time we saw the tape, but obviously there was only like a, a skip button or whatnot, but... Hmm. Should we go to the oven? Oh, uh, what was that? Okay, let me go to the oven here. I think it wants me to burn... Let me take a look at the picture again. And that doll there. I know that doll's gonna do something. <gasps> Wait. They just move? They just moved. Huh? Whoa. What is this? A meat pie. 200 grams of potato, 200 grams of mesh, uh, mushrooms, and 350 grams of meat. Okay, so potatoes. I think this note actually said. Okay, potatoes are a moon. All right, so I got to look for a moon here somewhere? So these are H. I don't know what H is. What is this? Wait, is it a moon or is it a mushroom? Oh, it's a moon.
Oh, we need mushrooms anyway. Uh, okay. How do I know how much grams? What is this? Okay, I'm gonna place everything right here. So I don't miss it. Let me check the other side. Nothing here. We've got a piece of cheese there. Okay, that's a mouse trap. If I put this here. Ah! Oh. Oh wait, could the Could the could the mouse be the meat? Oh, that's disgusting. Okay, hold on. So now we've got we just we're just missing oh, we're just missing the potato. Um, I'm gonna just go out on a limb here and... What does the H have to do with anything? Let me see. The H. It's purple. H is purple, but... What does the purple say? It has nothing to do with purple. Actually, never mind. Is there a potato anywhere here? I mean... On the shelves... Well, maybe the, the little pot that we had, could that be, what is that? Wait a minute. Oh, maybe one of these has the moon on it. Cause it's growing different plants and potatoes grow in. Wow. Okay. So, potatoes right here. No? Fuck, how do I grow the potato? Hold on. The same way the mushroom grew right here because of the... Wow. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so preheat the oven to 525. Okay. Um, in a pie tin, uh, in a pie tin mix, uh, the meat, potato, and mushroom bake for 50 minutes. Wait, there's something in there. Okay. 50 minutes. One, two, three. Oh! This is pretty fucking disgusting. Alright. There we go. That out of work. Rodent recycling. Whoa, hold on. This is different. We already had a tape. Hi there. I'm Amanda. And I'm Lily. Amanda, maybe some of our friends can come back to the neighborhood? That's great. I like that there are so many friends in my neighborhood. Today, I want to send something special to my friend. First, I need to go to the store to buy them a card. Do you know where the store is? To buy them a card? No, there's no store here. Uh, 24-7? It was here, right? Good job! Yes. Let's go to the store. Let's pick out a card. My friend... Something bad happened. What kind of card should I send them? Um... That's not the right card. Something bad happened. I don't think we want this. I think Amanda is confused. <laughs> hmm. Shh. Here's a secret. It's my birthday. Maybe we can help her out. Are you sure that's right? I don't... It looks like it. I bet your friend is really going to love this card. My friend is... My friend... My friend is having a birthday! I want to get my friend a special treat! Where can I buy a treat for my friend? Oh, right I here. know! Let's get them some nice candy! Do you know where the candy store is? 
Now they don't have the labels, which is funny. Great! What? Why did you do that? Now I can't find the candy store. I don't know where to go. Can you help me? Oh, this was in the demo, the butcher shop or whatever it was. Don't do that! <laughs> Imagine if a kid's TV shows actually monitored what they answer and they get upset at the kids. I don't want to go there. That'd be crazy. I said I don't want to go in there! This isn't the candy store. There is nothing here that I want. Maybe you can take us someplace else? I want to get my friend a special treat. Oh. Whoa. Let me out of here! Wow, oh, Amanda. That's... That's a nice birthday card. Do you want to give it to your friend now? Will you address the card? Who should I send this to? Bro. Okay. Gosh. I guess you really forgot. Oh, I was spelling his name wrong. Oh, Wooly. Wooly. It's your birthday. <laughs> I was spelling his name wrong, dude. Oh, my God. Okay, we've got a book on the table now. But has anything else changed? Where? We tried to. We went. You took me. Huh? Here. Then we went. Here. Where, where, where? Okay, so we went to... What is this? Twenty-four... We went to the twenty-four hour... Okay, 24-7 candy meat. Oh. Guts to... That's a lock up there. Oh, uh, where's the doll? Oh, God. We should be able to find uh, the G, the U, the T. And the S here. For the scissors, maybe. But funny enough, the doll's not here, so. Ooh. Ooh. Oh boy. Alright, hold on. So we're gonna. Oh man. I'm gonna place the uh, scissors right here. That is not good. So I'm supposed to cut off the doll's neck. Uh all right, this is pretty fucking disturbing. I'm gonna grab this, and it's called Want or What's a Family? That's what this tape is called. Let's go check this out. Let's put this here. Hi, friends. I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Ba. Wooly just made an animal sound. He said ba because he is a sheep. Can you make a sound like a sheep? Ba. That's great. You sound just like Wooly. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. You sound just like me. It's a real thunderstorm warning. At a petting zoo. There are lots of animals here to pet and play with. It's fun to spend time with animals. They are very different from people. 
they look different, and they don't talk like people. Amanda, I'm an animal, and I... Animals don't talk, silly. Look at these signs. Let's make sounds like the animals on the signs. Are you ready? A goat says, meh, meh. A chicken says, a pig says, like, fun! Animals make funny sounds. Do you have a family? Animals have families too. Let's go see one of the animal families. I want to see the chicken. Can you show me where the chickens are? <sighs> oh, God. Sure. Great! Let's go see the silly chickens. What a cute fibber. Having a family is nice. <laughs> I see a mommy chicken and baby chickens. And I see... I see a daddy chicken. Look at the chickens. Do you know what the daddy is called? I sure do. It's called a rooster. The daddy is called a rooster. The mommy is a hen, and the babies are chicks. Some mommies eat their babies. Yum, yum. They do? Okay, let's go see some more animal families. Where should we go next? I think it's time to visit the sheep. <laughs> can you tell me where we can find the sheep? Okay, let's go! Oh. Look at the nice sheep family. All the sheep are right where they belong. <laughs> oh, dude, what is happening? This is crazy. Hi, little kitten. Where is your family? It looks like this kitten is all by herself. How do you think she... Feels. Kitten is alone. There is no one to help her. Will you help the lonely kitten? Whoa, what the fuck? Yo, this is freaky, man. Oh, boy. Will you please help the lonely kitten? Won't you 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 help the So there it comes again, huh? Yep, there it comes again. Fuck. Now I can put guts here and get the scissors and the doll still there. So, I want to see what that does. Here we go. Now that the doll is here, we should be able to use... Perfect. Okay. <coughs> Fuck! What'd that do? Oh, uh, what? Okay, um, fuck, that was weird. Let's see if we can pause and do some of these things uh, with the little toy behind Hi us. Hi, friends. I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Bye. Wooly just made an animal sound. He said bye because he is a sheep. Can you make a sound like a sheep? 
Matt. That's great. You sound just like Wooly. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. You sound just like me. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Right, let's see what happened here. Okay. At a petting zoo. There are lots of animals here to pet and play with. It's fun to spend time with animals. They are very different from people. They look different and they don't talk like people. Amanda, I'm an animal and I- Animals don't talk, silly. Look at these signs. Let's make sounds like the animals on the signs. Are you ready? A goat says, meh, meh. <laughs> A chicken says, <laughs> A pig says, blink. <laughs> fun! Animals make funny sounds. Do you have a family? Animals have families too. Let's go see one of the animal families. I want to see the chicken. Can you show me where the chickens are? Let's try a different one. That's not where they are. Don't you know what a chicken okay. looks like? Great! Let's go see the silly chicken. Just making sure. Cute Having a family is nice. I see a mommy chicken and baby chickens and i see i see a daddy chicken look at the chickens do you know what the daddy is called so what i want to do differently here is just type anything just no that's not what they're called try perfect okay so i typed it wrong because the first time we got it correct and so I was, I mean, I was imagining that maybe if we were to type something incorrectly, something else would happen. Because I was breaking my head with this crap. Don't you know what a I want to go... Wait! No, that's... The daddy is... Ew! I don't want to see... I don't want to go near Okay, so choosing the incorrect answer. Man, what the heck? That's a flood warning. That's that that's different. That's probably that one right there, yeah. Fuck. Okay, yeah. Man, it's like you got to get it wrong on purpose. Everything rots. Ah, so this one brings you to the other one, which is everything rots, which is the one that we kind of uh Okay, I see how this is going. Okay. And I'm Amanda. If I remember correctly. I'm Wooly. What's that smell? What do you think is making that bad smell? Oh, I can't skip this. Yee, you, you're right. Interesting. Do you know what the opposite of alive is? Dead. Dead is the opposite of alive. Good job. Okay. When an animal dies, it rots too. It looks like this kitten is in big trouble. It might die before anyone can help it. Should we help the kitten? Whoa. This is different. Whoa. Okay, the doll's back here when we cut off her head. Here are the batteries. Whoa.
I don't even think we need that, to be honest. Let me just grab it just in case. This could be a pair. Or a... Oh, this could... Ooh, hold on a minute. What the heck? That Where's the birthday girl? Usually my mom pulls my treat money. Well, I'm come on, Lauren, we have a special surprise for you. Okay. Here's what I have. <laughs> Who's ready for ice cream and cake? She's busy with her best friend. Is that show on 24-7? It's like she didn't even hear me. And we need to talk about some new TV rules. <laughs> You know what, hold on. Let me try. I, I wanna I wanna capture the big surprise on video. <laughs> Lauren, honey, we got cake and ice cream. We got your favorite, mint chocolate chip. Come on, baby, we can watch Amanda another time. It's so much fun Lauren? to buy your own Everything okay? Lauren? Mm, Lauren? I love mint chocolate chip. What? We're gonna get the scissors again. And what tape was this? This was... What's a family? Okay, this is the tape that we've already seen. That's a secret tape. There might be six secret tapes, which is pretty cool. Um, go ahead and grab the scissors. Don't know how we can grab a uh, hold of those keys. But it seems like the... Uh, everything in this game is just... Endless, to be honest. There's so many things, so many, so many different scenarios that you can do. Um, and then we have these batteries here, but I've got no idea what. Where do I put these batteries? And it also seems like you could just get different tapes as you go along. What here would need batteries? That's the thing. What are the batteries for? It's almost endless, man. Like, there's so many different things that you can do. It's crazy. Hmm. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh my god. Hello, I am Blackboard. I think this is going to be fun. Sure. Oh fuck. What is he used for? My friend helped me when I was sad. Oh, what wait a minute. Babla, that's the, that's the toy. One fifth, which is the same thing this says right here. Only, but it was scratched or it's ripped off. So it's 150 or 1503.25. 1503.25. know my aunt's name that's kind of weird uh yeah that's a little fucking weird dude oh wait this changed i don't want to play anymore right now whoa hold on Congratulations, you're one year older. Wishing you the best year yet. Okay, so I gotta put that code on the robot. 0825. 
Wait, does the candle count as a number? 08128. Okay, put the candle. <laughs> Wait a minute. May your year be filled with many blessings. Love, Blabot. So one times four equals four. So it'd be four, four, four. Oh my goodness gracious. Let me write, what the f We've got to do the, the equation differently because now the candles, it's two candles. So it'll be two times four, which is six. Excuse me, eight. All right, so it's eight, and then five times, or five minus two would be three. Okay, so let me write this down. It's, okay, eight, the first one, three is the second one. Two times two is four plus one is five. Okay, six, two plus two plus two, and then two minus one is one. So it's eight, three, five, one, six, one. I'm sorry. Eight, Eight, three, three five, five, one, six, six one. C C D C F E C C D C F E C C D C F E C C D C F E. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Shut up. Oh, that is fucking creepy. Oh, there's a different tape for inst. Okay. We don't have much time. Do you trust me? Yes. Lily! Ready for an adventure? Amanda! You know you can't- Lily had an accident! When a friend has an accident, sometimes nobody can help them. But we can try! No, Amanda! I I'm fine! I, I, I just, uh- Poor Lily is so confused! We really have to help him. First, we have to know what is wrong. What part of Lily is broken? Nothing. Isn't Wooly acting strange? What could be wrong? Don't you care about Wooly? He needs our help. If we don't fix him now, Things will get very, very bad. Am I the only one who sees what's wrong here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lily's head is broken, but Dr. Amanda is here to help. Let's prepare the patient. Here, Lily, drink this. Uh, I don't know, Amanda. It's all just pretend, isn't it, Lily? Amanda. <laughs> Uh... What the fuck? We need to operate immediately on the patient's brain. What tool should we use to fix Wooly's head? The saw, <laughs> the hammer, or the forceps? That might be helpful, but what else could we use? Things could get really messy if we use that. The hammer? That 
looks hard to use, but I could try. <laughs> I tricked you! We're going to use all three! <laughs> the patient is getting rowdy! I'll need a little help here. Help me! Please! So, who are you going to help? Pause! You're not going to help me? I can do this by myself. No way. What? <laughs> Oof. Oh shit. Here we go. Home movies. Four, oh, one, two, five, eight. What the fuck? We don't Wait. have much time. Oh my god. Poor little guy. Okay, I'm gonna have to pause that really quickly. 401. 401 I already forgot. 401821. <laughs> Hold on. Four oh one two five eight. Four oh one two five eight. Four oh one two five eight. Four oh one. There's only one thing left. Four oh one. Actually, what the fuck? Never mind. That doesn't have a code. Four oh one. Two five eight. Maybe here. Four zero. So what what possibly what can I possibly do with this what can I possibly do with this bucket we do the only thing we can do here maybe hold on Sorry. Oh, that's fucked up. Oh. Ooh. What is that? Oh, we've got another key. Well, it's got to be for the chest. Whoa. Best friend. Hi, I'm Amanda. When you're friends, you can share all kinds of things with each other. I can share my crayons with you, so you can have fun coloring too. Look at silly Mr. Fox. Sharing shows you care about someone. Friends can share toys. They can share snacks. I'll share some of my snacks with you. Which snack would you like? What the fuck? Oh. Yum, that's my favorite. Friends can share other things too. They can share secrets. Can I share a secret with you? Oh my god. I think the secret she's gonna say is she probably killed Wooly. I mean, at this. I wanna say. 
It's probably gonna get pissed. Oh. I thought you were different. Oh shit. Oh. Leave. Okay, I'm just gonna get out of here. Oh wow. That's actually an end, a hollow end. Bro, this game is freaky, man. Like, there's like very minimal jump scares. Maybe like one, honestly, but the whole entire. Oh, shit. The entire just idea of the game and the vibe is very creepy. Bro, these guys did a phenomenal job in this game. Look at all these individuals. Wow, a lot of people worked on this, huh? When I played the demo, it felt like such a small game, but... My God, and look at all the translators. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh. All right, well, guys, I've been playing this game for like three hours almost uh i think i'm about done we probably got one more ending here or something i don't know what that is but wow that was a lot more than i thought it was gonna be definitely worth the eight bucks or nine bucks whatever it's whatever it cost that was one heck of an experience very different very unique and a lot better than what i thought it was ever gonna be let me know what you guys think thanks for watching i'll catch you later